I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the 10th of September. Got some weather changes coming up for the weekend. Tropics are active. Let's go right to it. Look at some of the sky cam shots. First off, coming from Birmingham. Looking south from the Daniel Building, a partly sunny afternoon. There's the Decatur sky cam, and yes, the streets are wet. It's raining. A little shower passing through uh, Decatur within the past 15 minutes. But over in Coleman, hardly a cloud in the sky, at least looking east from the water treatment facility just east of downtown. Water vapor satellite shot, deep trough over the northwest. Going to drive a cold front down this way this weekend. Troughing over the northeast, what's left of Hermine, that moisturous pool over Tennessee and Kentucky. And flat ridging here. And man, it's hot, low and mid-90s. Numbers vary from 90 at Muscle Shoals to 95 at Montgomery. Birmingham at 94, but uh, numbers will be coming down a little bit this weekend and early next week. Around the nation, look at the cool air back in the trough. See some 40s and 50s out there. It feels awfully good over Montana, Wyoming, Idaho. And uh, while the core of that really cool air will not get down in here, we do expect the air to be noticeably drier beginning Sunday, and that should mean uh, lower humidity and cooler nights. There's the radar at 142. You can see a few showers over northwest Alabama. Uh, basically, the showers are northwest of a line from Tuscaloosa to Coleman to Huntsville. And a little more numerous up north, and we'll expect to see a pretty good increase in showers and storms tomorrow with a cold front coming in. Convective outlook, slight risk today for Wichita and Kansas City. Tomorrow, low-end 5% probabilities from near Little Rock up to Cincinnati in advance of the cold front. We might see a strong storm or two down here. And the QPF chart, rain for the next five days. The bullseye near Kansas City, rainfall amounts here, about one-half to one inch. And this is valid through Wednesday morning at 7 o'clock. But really, after tomorrow, we go dry for quite a while. Tropical weather, the one to watch is that wave over the uh, uh, Windward Islands. It is uh, uh, potentially Tropical Storm Julia down the line. We'll look at the uh, modeling on this, and uh, models have shifted a little to the right on the 12Z runs here. Uh, the models are spread out from anywhere north of Cuba to south of Cuba, south of Jamaica. Uh, looks like the core of this will stay south of Hispaniola, ultimately coming across Cuba, and you can clearly see this is a very good candidate to wind up in the Gulf of Mexico, so eyes are on that. And the intensity forecast, most of the models leave this as a tropical storm across the board for the next five days, but a few ramp it up to a formidable hurricane. We'll be watching. Boy, Igor looks good. Uh, NHC downgraded that yesterday to a depression. About the time they downgraded it, the thing really ramped up. It's clearly a tropical storm on its way to becoming a powerful hurricane out there around uh, 35 West. Here's a track coming from the Hurricane Center. Uh, should be a, a major hurricane, more than likely uh, uh, early Wednesday morning of next week, around 55 west. And again, most all of the good models recurve this east of the United States. Still as early in the game. We all know that could change, but that's the way it looks now. We'll look at modeling. This is the 12Z GFS, valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow. Flat ridge here, strong trough north of us, short, a short wave. And look at the moisture increasing. Uh, looks like we'll see scattered to numerous showers and storms during the day tomorrow. Uh, the better chance coming during the afternoon and nighttime hours, and really both the uh, NAM and the GFS are, are relatively wet with this. So clearly the advice is to take a uh, take some rain gear to the uh, Alabama-Penn State game and the Jacksonville-Chattanooga game if you are headed that way tomorrow night. Sunday, the front moves all the way down to below Montgomery. We dry out. Sky becoming partly sunny. Humidity values dropping during the day as continental air drops in, and Monday of next week looks good. Uh, latest guidance showing a low here of 63 early Monday morning. Inevitably, we'll see 50s for the cooler spots. Highs up around 90. Tuesday of next week looks good. Same thing. Low to mid 60s. High close to 90. Low humidity. There's Wednesday. Dry as a bone. Thursday of next week. And a week from today. Still dry. Cold front north of us. And here comes Igor. Big hurricane. Could be a whopper of a hurricane by then. Well to the north of the leewards. Saturday the 18th, uh, strong ridging down here. Uh, Igor beginning to make the turn. There's the surface chart. Igor east of the Bahamas. 
On the 19th, Igor is moving north. We stay dry. And on the 20th, same deal. We're dry. Igor moving north. Very cold air for Canada, trying to nose into the northern states, but the upper air winds not allowing it down here. And no sign of Julia on the GFS. It has not identified that yet. And on the 26th of September, into the forecast, still the westerlies are fairly light, uh, troughing over the east. And again, that looks fairly uneventful. So still no evidence of that first really good polar front that gets everybody down in the 40s. It'll get here, but so far we don't see any sign of that. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. My next video will be Monday morning at 7. Brian Peters will have the video updates both tomorrow and Sunday. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful weekend, and God bless.